Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Big game breakdown continues here on Sportsbit. Clemson and North Carolina ACC showdown tonight. Lots of Tar Heels money in early betting action. Uh, last night, this number was sitting at six. Now we're all the way up to seven and a half for North Carolina. Total in the 147 range. North Carolina, they're 14 and four, the number 15 in the country. Clemson's got the better record. They're 15 and two, the number 20 in the country. And I agree with those ratings, in essence. Uh, I think North Carolina is the better team overall. Certainly the markets do. And Clemson is 0 and 58. Their last 58 visits to North Carolina. They're 0 and 27 at the Smith Center. This is the longest home winning streak in NCAA history, or longest road losing streak, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see, the number two, the Princeton beat Brown 52 straight times at home. That ended in 2003. <laughs> so you talk about this type of dominance. It's in the guy's heads. Let's just put it that way. You know, and Clemson, this is a team I, I bet against them over the weekend. I was not happy with the result. Brown, Brownell squad, he's got a freaking good team. And this is a team, remember, Blue Ribbon, very influential in the college basketball betting marketplace, certainly early season-wise, had them number 12 in the ACC. So when you have a team that's ranked in the preseason number 12 in the ACC, and now they're sitting at 15-2, and two, number 20, you're supposed to be making boatloads of money with teams like Clemson. And you have been. They're 7-3 and three against the spread last 10 since that 2-2 two and two start. But, of course, it's about the point spread, not about the straight-up result. First time here since... December 30th, 2015, North Carolina was laying 15 in that ballgame. They won by 11. Did not cover the number. So you say, you know, is this something that's in the heads of the Clemson players? You know, the last time they were here, there's only two guys in the team, uh, Dante Grantham and uh, Gabe DeVoe, left from that 2015 game. But the psychological impact of losing all those games, it's still there. Brad Brownell talking about playing at the Smith Center. Quote, it's different. There's no doubt about it. The first time you walk in when you're a freshman, you're going to look around for a while. But you hope that once the game gets going, you're not looking around. Because if you are looking around, it's not going to go well. Dante Grantham from Clemson. Quote, they're kind of saying, we don't want to be the team to lose the Clemson. We don't want to be known as that. But it's basketball. It's the ACC. Anybody can win any day. Don't be surprised by anything in the ACC. Clemson has some of the pieces to pull the outright upset here. Certainly to hang tough. You look at the starting five, they're balanced and they're experienced. We like the balanced teams on the highway. All five starters uh, averaging in double figures. Talking about a veteran squad. You know, pair of seniors, pair of fourth-year juniors, a third-year junior. It isn't a team with freshmen and sophomores. But when it comes to talent, I mean, North Carolina's freaking loaded, man. You know, the latest guy, Luke May, 6'8", 240. He has a, been a monster for the Tar Heels. This guy's got a high ceiling, a higher ceiling than expected. Uh, you look at the numbers of late. Let's see, he's averaging 18 points and nearly 11 rebounds per game. He's a good passer out of the low post. And, oh, by the way, he's 26 of 54 from three-point range this season. And my biggest concern about Clemson is not how they're going to stop Luke May, how they're going to pound in the paint. Because one thing North Carolina does, they are really good on the glass. This is a Roy Williams trademark. Look at the percentages. North Carolina offensive rebounding percentage is number four in the country in that regard. Clemson, grabbing the defensive boards, only number 60. You look at the other end of the equation, there's that North Carolina defensive rebounding percentage at number 12. Clemson, they focus on transition defense. They do not crash the offensive glass. The extra possessions in this game likely to go to North Carolina. That certainly could be a factor when it comes to why this money has come in on the Tar Heels in early betting today. And, of course, when you're talking about North Carolina, you're trying to chase this team from behind in the closing minute. Look at the veteran guards for UNC and their free throw percentages. This team hits their free throws down the, down the stretch. And they're going to cover point spreads like this one, a good handful of them this season, because they hit their free throws down the stretch, turning a five-point lead into a seven, into a nine. Joel Berry, Theo Pinson, Cameron Johnson, all excellent free-throw shooters who can extend margins late 
hate to see Clemson backers take the worst of it when it came to the final minute in this ballgame. I can understand why North Carolina has been taking the early money. When we come back, deep dive time. Dave Mason from Bet Online will talk about the weekend that was and the week up the week upcoming. Plus, how many betters does BOL lose once football season ends? We'll find out. Stay tuned right here on Sportsman. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.